So today guys, I want to take a look at this uh, O-ring sizing tool that I bought from Amazon. It's by King USA. It was $48.99 plus tax. And for that, you also get a seal pick and hook multi-tool. Well, and we will take a look at that. Now, I must say they had it packed really good because it came in this big long box that you can see here even though the box on the inside was only this long and then they had uh, paper so it definitely was shipped to get to me in good order like to see that so I've been looking for something to use to size o-rings you get different o-rings with different uh, pieces of equipment you take them to the store you don't know ahead of time what it is it's nice to know what you're getting if you want to order it online instead of going somewhere because they may not have it locally and you may have to order online so uh, we're gonna take a look at this and see what it, see what it looks like so let's take a look at this pick tool first again a phenomenal deal I believe at that price So let's get a close-up look at that tool. Here we see the one end. And then the other end. I have several other O-ring pick tools. So guys, here's some specs. Uh, you can just um, freeze the frame and check out the information as given on Amazon's website. So this thing, guys, is about 17 and a half inches long. Now the diameter at the base is approximately six and one eighth inches. I find that the numbers on this uh, sizing cone are very easy to see. So, let's see what if we can determine the size of this O-ring. So you'll note on the bottom of the sizing tool, there's various slots. Or notches, I guess you'd call them. So you need to take the O-ring and fit it closest to the notch that fits the diameter the thickness of the o-ring so in other words here it's very sloppy so if we stick it in here we see that that fits properly the thickness of the o-ring so that means that what we would do is we're going to use the scale that is on this side of that slot so you'll stick it up on here and then wherever it lands on this you take the reading directly off of it. So now, going up the side of the tool, we go until it lands on one of those ridges, those uh, that you see there. And we go up here. 
and we take a reading directly off of where it, it lands. Now what you'll notice here is that it is just below the 011, the point zero one one. So this is a little too small. The O-ring is too small to be sized on this sizing tool. I do have another one I can size it with. But for this particular tool, it's not resting down here. It's at the top. And that ridge, there is no number for that where it's sitting on. As to this small O-ring, I do have a tool that I will review some point down the road that I can use by laying it on top and sizing the real small ones. So let's try a larger O-ring. So here you see I've found the proper O-ring thickness that fits and now I'm going to follow up that side of the scale. So once again we will go up until we see where it sets and we'll see that it sets on 124. So that is the proper size of this O-ring, a 124. Guys, it's important that you do not force this below. Just let it set. So in other words, I'm going to take this off. I'm going to put it back on. And this is a new O-ring. And I'm going to set it on here. And just see where it falls. You can see that if I set it here, it wants to go here. So I'll just gently push down on the other side. You can see that I've not expanded it, I've not stretched it out. So if I try to go down to 125, I can feel that I'm stretching it, that I'm causing the O-ring to be expanded. So you'll know automatically that's wrong, and you're, it's going to run a roll over to the next one. But if you just let it sit on there, let it go where it falls, that's what you want to do. All right, guys, we've got ourselves a much larger, thicker O-ring. It happens to fit in this slot right here, that notch. So we will size it to that. And as before, guys, again, very important, just let it fall into place. So I'll take this off. I bring it down. And again, this is another new O-ring, and I just kind of see where it wants to set. And it'll go right on here, just like that. And if we read directly off there, it's a 330. And if we try to go further down, again, you'll see that it wants to roll. It wants to roll down. So you know that's not right. You're forcing it down. So you just want it where it sets just, just down there like that.